Hi, respiratory therapy students. Today, we're gonna to talk about something called the cuff leak test. Now, this is a test that we do prior to extubation to make sure that the upper airway is not obstructed so that when we pull somebody's ET tube out, we know they're gonna be able to breathe just fine in and out. Um, I'll just say this real quick. All tubes, whether it's a premature neonate or an adult geriatric patient, all tubes should leak before you extubate a patient. That way you know the upper airway is patent. Okay, so let's just talk about it. We've got the person on a vent, okay? Air goes in, inflates the lungs, comes back out and comes back to the vent. Now notice right now I've got an ET tube drawn here and the cuff is inflated and it's touching the sides of the airway. So let's just kind of throw some numbers out just to make sure that we're okay with the concept. Let's say I set on the ventilator, I set a tidal volume of 500 mLs. All right, this is really kind of what happens. What goes into the patient's lungs should be the 500 mLs, okay? The lungs expand, the patient exhales, and what goes in hopefully should come back out. So what we're doing is that this is inspiratory tidal volume and this is expiratory tidal volume, okay? Now, it's not always going to be exactly spot on 500 in, 500 out. There's a little bit of variations, but you get the point, right? All right, so here's what we are going to do. What we're going to be looking for is this exhale tidal volume. And there's a little bit of math. We're going to get a little mathy with it, but it's not hard. All right, so let's say that when we have the cuff inflated, right now it's inflated, right? When you push 500 in, 500 comes out. This is the first part of the formula. You have to have the cuff inflated tidal volume. So what's coming back to the vent is 500, okay? Cuff inflated, exhale tidal volume. All right, and then what you're gonna do is you're going to deflate the cuff. Let me see if I can just take that cuff, oh, no, can't take the cuff away, let me just redraw it. So now you take that ET tube and you deflate the cuff, okay? And the vent pushes air in and what should happen is some of that air is going to escape out of the upper airway. So what comes back to the patient hopefully will be significantly less. So let's say we deflated the cuff, 500 goes in, and let's say this time 400 comes out, okay? So this is the cuff deflated exhale tidal volume. So we go cuff inflated tidal volume minus cuff exflated tidal volume and then we're gonna divide it by where we started it with the inflated tidal volume, okay? So 500 minus 400 is 100 mLs. Okay, let's talk about what that means. If we push 500 in, what that means is 100 leaked out through the upper airway. So what came back is only 400, all right? Well, if I wanna get a percentage, I take that difference, 500 minus 400 is 100, divided by where I started, and that difference is 0.2, or turn it into a percentage, 20%. Okay, here's what you need to know, especially for testing purposes. You should have a cuff leak of 15% of, of or more before you pull that tube out of the airway, okay? So the cuff should leak. 15% or more prior to extubation. Hope this has helped. See you soon.